project. So I've been doing a lot of web development recently, so um, that's why I've got these things here. So that's strange. Where is my fucking Visual C Sharp? Where is C++ recent all? Um, may have done the wrong thing here. So new project. There you go. I don't know what will happen there. So just click new project. Uh, I think I might have done new website. Um, so you want to go Win32 project. So I'm going to call this uh, mid function hook uh, YouTube. Okay. I'm just going to open my old one. So mid function hook YouTube. You can just you can take the YouTube bit out probably. Uh, so okay that. And you want to go next here. Yes, I want to create a DLL, please, and an empty project so we have full control of what we want. Click finish, and here we go. So first thing we want to do here is create our um, our um, files. So we want to go create the source file first of all. This can either be source.cpp in the latest versions or main.cpp. That's up to you. Excuse me. So we do that. Just okay that. That's a header file. Uh, we need to create a couple of header files, as, header files as well, and we're going to go click header, and this one's going to be let's have a think. That will be uh, functions.h. That's what we're going to call that one. Boom. Let's create another one. So we're just trying to keep our code clean. That way, you guys will be able to understand the code a bit better, and and you know, especially and and me as well. When I come back to code, I like to be able to read things properly. So uh, and then hooks is going to be where we're going to do that. And create that one. There's both of those. So what we're going to start off by creating is uh, that's fine. Right, not C++. We're going to create uh, functions .c++. Now this is something we've coded before. So if you have the previous code, just copy that. Um, obviously I've got the previous code as well, but I'm going to code it again just for you new guys. Okay. So just going to zoom in as usual because I know you guys like I like it a bit close. So I want to go include. Uh, IO stream, that's the first thing we want to be doing. IO stream. And then we want to go include uh, Windows 8. Probably should turn my light on. My room's a, well, my living room's a bit dark right now. Um, include uh, TL help, TL help 32H. Just give me just a second. I'll turn my light on. Boom. Beautiful stuff. And we've got that, and now we're going to go with include ps api. These are all just um, for the basic functions that we're going to be using. Uh, is that right? Ps api. Press ctrl space if you if you need to know the rest of the uh, function. So, like we did in the previous tutorial, we want to do a message box addy so that we can call our um, our result really. Uh, so if I just just checking my my code here on the side to test a few things so we don't have to write too much so message box addy and this we're going to use for our signature scans I always like to use this function to make sure I'm getting the right address in return so we're going to go char um, csz uh, buffer uh, and that will be an array of 1024 it's an array of chars uh, sprint f which is going to join our, um, our d word into that um, array uh, sc buffer, comma, addy, um, and that'll be percentage 0, 02 x. That means we want to print that value in hexadecimal. Uh, addy uh, is what goes in there, and boom. So we want to pass a variable here, which is dword addy. Fine. Uh, addy obviously stands for address, which I'm sure you're not wondering. Uh, message box, and you want to go message box. Uh, no, as said, buffer. Beautiful stuff. Title. Uh, title. Title is literally just the the header of the message box. And we want to say message box. Okay, it's a type of message box, and that's fine. So all this will do is we search for. Well, this is just a casual problem. Click project. And we're just going to change our type to multibyte character array. So use Unicode instead of that. Double click there. Use multibyte character set. Apply. OK. Errors go away. Boom. Beautiful. OK. So all we're doing is that so that it makes our life easier when it comes to, to writing the main code. Um, and then we want to go 
for our, create our place jump function. And this one's this beauty here is what we're going to use to make our life incredibly easy to create a jump from our from the instruction that we want. So if we go here quickly, yeah. So excuse my bad writing from earlier. We just go here, and this is what's going to overwrite this. For example, overwrite this with a jump call all in one line, make our lives incredibly easy, and that's what I have to thank C5 and Insane for, they're the ones who've, I'm not sure who created that, but I've just followed both of them. Um, so I want to go void, oops, void, hopefully, I'll just get rid of that for a second, so you guys can see better, hopefully the text is big enough, because I know you guys a lot of the time complain about it, so void place, uh, jump, uh, byte, and just to give you guys a heads up, recently I've been making a lot of a lot of changes on our forums at Guided Hacking, and uh, things are getting a lot better now. Especially for those of you guys that, well, I guess for everyone, but for those of you that are learning, sort of getting into hacking and things, we've got. Um, I'm actually going to finish doing that today, but we've got a, a section just for beginners now where we're going to post the easiest, the the best tutorials for getting into hacking and we're gonna um, have an intermediate and an advanced section as well so to cover everyone uh, really to to sort of clean things up and make things easier for everyone to to get in and learn on their sort you know, on their level really so along with that we're making so many different changes like I recently added a new code um, protect a new code um, uh, what's it called? Snippet thing where you can have proper code and it looks pretty good. Um, along with that, there's quite a quite a lot of new things to make the forum easier and sort of better for everyone, really. So, if you guys are subscribed to to this channel and you're not on the site, uh, you're sort of missing a few things out. So definitely, you should register and get on that. So what we're going to do is virtual protect. I'm not. I'm not going to explain these too much because I went over them on the last tutorial just to save us all some time. So virtual protect, but I'll still go over them a little bit. So virtual protect and we're protect and we're going to go address. Ah, freaking autocomplete. Um, length. Uh, page. It's page execute and we'll make sure to give yourself read write privileges and pass the old protect there. DW old protect. Um, does not recognize address. Why not? Because it should be in capital. What a fool. Uh, okay, so that's fine. Uh, DW reload address equals casting to a D word. Jump to minus D word. Oh, I guess I haven't covered this before, have I? Yeah, sorry, this is from a bit of code that I did similar last time. I haven't covered this before. So first thing we're going to do is going to give address this address. Obviously, if you download the full solution, uh, you'll see what this means But um, in comments. So we're downloading the... Uh, sorry, we're, we're giving ourselves write permission for that address. That's the first thing we're doing. Uh, minus D word. Uh, and that will be the address. Uh, minus five. I'll make sure I'm casting that right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then semicolon there. And we want to say pointer address um, equals zero times e9. That's in hexadecimal. And e9 is basically a jump uh, instruction. In case you're wondering. So if you look through any bit of code, you'll see that e9 is a jump instruction. And then we want to say cast pointer d word. Um, and then we're going to close that and then open again. That will be addressed. Make sure we don't screw up any brackets or we're in trouble. Plus zero times one. And close that. So equals DW. So we're going to write the offset. We're going to jump to. And then the instruction will become jump. Um, for example, it will become jump zero, one, two, three, four, five. So it's telling us we've allocated memory. And now we're saying jump to that address so we can do what we want. DW reload address. And then we create our loop to go through and write the rest of our instructions. Uh, sorry, re uh, write the rest of the bytes with nopes, so no operations. D word x equals 0 times 5. So that's 5 in hexadecimal. I'm a bit slow today. Is less than length. Um, 
X plus plus, and then we're going to say address. Uh, yep. Address plus X equals zero times ninety. So yeah, all we're doing is noping the remainder of the addresses. So let's say we've got something half complete. We make sure we nope the rest of those addresses. Um, and yeah, and then we just do virtual protect again. So I'm just going to copy that again. Make our lives easier. Uh, and that's address length and DW old protect. So we're resetting the old protection to prevent any problems from happening. And DW backup, also known as doesn't do actually jack shit. But it's necessary because of the call. And that's our place jump, which is beautiful stuff. Now the next section will be the pattern scanning, which is um, the bit that we've done already. So I'm going to try and go through this fairly fast. So module info is the first thing we want to be returning here from our function get module info. You can probably take a wild guess of what that returns. Um, but yeah, so char the module name, uh, the pattern that we want to throw there. Um, Sorry, that's for the other one. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, and so what we want to do here is say module info, uh, mod info equals. Let's have a look at that. That bit, this this line I got from the internet. So I'm wondering, I think that equals null or it just equal, equals nothing. So h module, h module equals get module. Is it handle? Uh, yep, that's it. Handle CZ module. So get the handle, the handle for that model. Model module. What are we talking about? Okay. Uh, and what have I done wrong here? That should be CZ module, not module. Okay. Um, and they're always saying get the handle for this module, right? If we can get it. So all we're doing here, H module. We're saying if we have it. Return it. Uh, F module, uh, H module. Put the capital version of it. So this can be a bit tricky. Just keep. I can't focus too much on this one because of my current code. Get module information. So yeah, if we get something, then we return the module information for that. So get module information, and that will be get the current process. H module and H mod info and that will be we have to say the size of return um, a module info object uh, close that absolutely beautiful and that's so all we're doing is we're returning the module info uh, mod info. That's great stuff. So that covers that one. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, that makes sense. So all this is going to return ultimately. It seems it may seem a little bit confusing, but it's quite straightforward. All this will give us is our module. So if we look for ACClient.exe, excuse me, which is what we're looking for, it will return the beginning of that. Um, that um, should I say that exe in memory? Not that exe that doesn't make sense. That module in memory, right at the beginning, where it starts, where ac client.exe starts, and where it ends, so that we only loop through that. Now, this will also apply to any DLLs or anything like that, where you can say um, physics.dll, for example, and it will only search that DLL. So, getting module info through this uh, function here is one of the easiest ways of doing it, really. Now, we're going to go for D word, uh, find pattern. I'm going to go char module. I'm just going to try and speed through this one. Char um, pattern and char mask. Okay, anything wrong with that? Nope. Good stuff. So we're going to say module info. Info m info equals get module info so first thing we're saying is please give me the information for that specific DLL that we want module info um, and we're passing over the module that we've gotten that's fine uh, and then we want to say 
D word base, and this is where we assign these things. D word base equals 